Oh shit! Hello and welcome to my iRacing channel in what may be an extremely stupid idea to race the GT3 challenge once again at Watkins Glen. So last time out we did pretty well, we just had a single incident which for a GT3 fixed race is pretty amazing. What could possibly go wrong this time? Let's crack on and find out. Come on! So here we are again, GT3 challenge at Watkins Glen boot. Thought we'd give this one another go. We've qualified in P12 with a 148.5, which I thought was a good lap. But these guys keep proving me wrong. So anyway, let's see how we do. Keep out of carnage as long as possible. Get around a couple of laps and settle in. Okay, Rob, get ready. Here we go. Go, 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 go. go. Minutes remaining. You've got 20 minutes left. Right, there's a couple of nutters. In this race, there have already been a few cars written off right side. even Your before three wide. Clear left. they got Clear round the parade lap. Car right. Is there still a car still right? There. Is there still a car right? It's still there. Hold your line. Well, I've no choice but to... Hold oh my god. Line. Oh my god. Hold your line. Clear wow. right. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Let's just, oh my word. This guy's so slow, it's almost causing accidents. Can I get around him? Because he's uh, holding me up. He's going to stick it in a wall. Let's get. Car right. Oh my word. Right side's clear. He's a swervy lunatic, unfortunately. Left side. I need to. Still there. I need to take him Clear out. Left. Not literally, but I, I need, do need to get past him. Danger, danger, driver. Car left. Clear yep. left. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. I knew we were gonna kill me. Unfortunately. Right. It happened. Oh my god, and they drove Clear straight left. back onto track as well. Numbskulls, numbskulls. Car right. Clear right. And this is the guy that wiped me out. Oh, what's our damage like? Well, we had two good races where we basically had one incident over 60 minutes. Did a VRS and a GT3 challenge. And unfortunately, this guy in front, who just does not have a clue how to drive. But we'll check it in the instance afterwards. But uh, I left him plenty of room on the left-hand side there. 16th place. I stayed as tight as possible to the curb, and somehow still managed to kill me. But we'll check it in the instance afterwards, because you never know. Could have been a bit 50-50. It has happened before. Which is one of the reasons why I now mute the voice chat and I don't chuck abuse at people as much. But uh, anyway, we're back in P16, down four. Sell into the race, 20 minute race. That was literally two minutes in that we just got murdered. So, uh, but it's a GT3 challenge. A lot of cars don't end up making it to the end of this race, although that one's gonna give me a little bit of trouble now, I would expect. See if we've got any kind of damage. So we did take a few impacts there as well. Handling feels okay. Not sure about the straight line aero. Let's put some delta on and we can find out. That's against session best. And cars in front. Let's have a look. He's 12.7 seconds. Done a 147.48. See if we can take a chunk out of that at all. Yeah, someone's crashed by the look of it. 
See if we can catch up and capitalise on that. OK, Rob. The next car is Tucker. Car doesn't seem to feel like it's got any damage anyway. So the GT3 challenge, much like the fixed Ferrari, more often than not there's death. So it was risky entering a second race. Anyway, I just fancied a quick race to be honest. And uh, VRS just didn't seem, didn't feel like it. I just wanted a quick, quick race. Never mind. Back in P60. The gap to Tucker ahead is now 9.3. Yeah, I see him. Come on, stay focused. Apexes and exits, apexes and exits. 15 minutes left. Loads of racing left. Could really do with catching some kind of cars up though. It'd be nice to give us something to chase. So otherwise it's just gonna be me, this car, and you B16. all alone. Might as well have brought some candles. Have a better dinner. I must admit, the Audi is starting to feel nice now. I've spent a couple of hours in it. If it wasn't for that incident, I'm fairly sure we'd have had a clean-ish race around here. Well, it's like anything else. You spend enough time concentrating on one thing, you get good at it. So, I have kind of said I'm not going to try and bounce around cars too much this season. 149.46. So... 62 is... 0.9 off the I'll pace. probably race this car at Sebring next week as well on the VRS and maybe GT3 again it's 20 minutes half the race length of VRS so it's a nice convenient race if you just want to stick one in before tea or if you fancy in a few beers and you want to get a clean race in before you get shit faced <laughs> in front is King. Very good. Well, it'd be lovely to see the back of another car at some point. Nine seconds. What kind of lap times are they actually running? Uh, going front's quickest is a 147.5. So he must have been a front runner that's crashed out, and then the chap in front of that is 149.2. So, yeah, probably a little hope of catching people. The leader has just done a 147.30. Especially when guys like that are smashing in. Amazing times. King in front is now 9.3 seconds. Betty, close to the wall there. Could taste it. Sector three is 0.9 off the pace. Still P16, so the rest of the cars in front have somehow managed to stay clean. Unfortunately, it does happen every now and again where you get caught up in the mix. Pretty much for this race you need to be top 10 to be gaining positive I rating that is now not looking likely at all so this will be yellow flag caution a negative I rating finish if we remain as far back as we are still plenty of time though this guy's obviously had a little bit of a incident see it wasn't one of the two cars in front of us that I was looking at their times. It's 
Cisco in front, his best is a 148.7. So he's got pace, he's definitely got pace. I can't believe they're all staying clean in front. It's amazing. P15, you've just done it. Hoping for a. I know it's not nice to wish incidents upon people, but a few freebies would be nice. Just to gain us some places back. Just lessen the blow when we get to the end and find that we've got a negative I rating finish. All right, Rob. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. Halfway Stay through. On it. This isn't over yet. Half distance, fuel looks good. Damn right, Jeff. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 3.5 seconds. Getting away is Rimco. Come back! Stop it so quick! Oh, really warm in this room. I think I need to stick the fans on, but fortunately means probably crashing my car at the same time. The car ahead's pitting Let's now. give it a go. <laughs> car ahead's pitting. Interesting. Well, it's not a type of race that you need to take fuel, so... P14. That lap time was 149.92. Bro, that is not quick. We must have some kind of damage. That's good consistency. Keep it up. I was running practice before this. Not for too long, maybe 15 minutes before the race. And then, of course, we put in a uh, decent qualifying time, 148.5. And I was running around that time consistently in practice, and all of a sudden now we drop down to high 149s. Who else if we concentrate, like? But we'll, uh, we'll have a 360 of the car afterwards, anyway, just to see what kind of damage we've got. But we did spin off, the hit the wall, get back on track, and then the car crashed into us again. 14 seconds. So we just lost so much time. In, the, in that incident and, of course, whatever damage we're carrying. Lovely jubbler. Yeah, it's never nice getting crashed. On lap one. Looking really dark outside, like it's going to chuck it down. So P14, still down two from our original starting position at 12. P13. 13. Oh, cheeky. Something's happened ahead. Still about seven minutes left of the race. That's why you should never just suck it in. Even if you have an incident on lap one, it's a long race. Well, it's a short race, 20 minutes. There's still plenty of time there for other cars to have incidents and crash. Oh, 
Oh, this guy here is having a little bit of trouble by the look of him. Don't know if he's carrying damage or whether he's just had a recent off track, but let's see if we can apply some kind of pressure. Lewis, 148.5 is his fastest lap. What was his last lap? Well, his last lap was a 148.5 as well, so he's definitely got pace. He must have just had a, an off track. Bumpity bump. front is increasing it's now yeah 1.5. fortunately it does appear that we're running some kind of aero straight line damage so the cornering certainly feels okay, okay. okay relax focus keep it smooth relax five minutes to go five minutes left Whoosa. you've used half your fuel P13. Five minutes left. Mm, his pace is making me wonder if he's got some damage. Looks like his rear wing's a bit bent there. And you're still, even if we can catch him, we've still got to get around him. We are getting him. Keep it inside. chunk time on somewhere that corner last corner maybe Whoa. it's all right I thought we we're getting up close to the wall than we actually did it's fine about four minutes left and oh, we actually ran a 148 there sweet I mean, we probably are getting a bit of a tour now from this car in front. Absolutely welcome. P13, so it's looking like we're finishing out with the points. A positive I rating anyway. has just done a 147.70. Wow. He must have been in for repairs. Stay close. There might be a chance here. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. Well, it's going to have to be... We're going to have to get really lucky here to get around this guy. It's not necessarily running slow laps, is it? So... Yeah, we're definitely getting a tour through from him for these lap times anyway. Turn. 
So probably this and one more lap. Can we get him? Just another place back would be lovely. Just a bit of damage limitation for the I rating. P13. just managing to stay about the same distance in front. Okay Rob, you've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Ooh. Lo and behold, we're on him. Shit! Oh! That's my damage. It's the last lap. Can't believe we did that. We touched the grass on the right hand side. Just giving it too much to try and chase him. Absolutely astonished. One more to go. That my car's not in pieces and in the pits. This moment in time, I'll quite happily just take that P13. What a kick in the old ghoulies at the end of the race. So, yeah, a few events in that we've had here and some incidents to review after the race anyway. Last two races we've had at Watkins Glen. I'd say we've only had a single incident so we had nothing to review on those, but this time, absolutely crammed. For the viewers. The guy behind has just done a 147.24. Whoa. I think we got lucky there. To be honest, we could have absolutely smashed ourselves to pieces. But we, we were definitely gaining on him. Every chance would have caught him. I was just trying to give myself the opportunity at least to get on the back of him to try and swing by on the straight. But uh, unfortunately, I just gave it too much, too many beans on that corner. And we drifted off to the right, clipped the grass and did a little bit of a spin. The gap in front has increased to 8.0 seconds. Oh, can't believe that's all we lost on him. Eight seconds after that Just fantastic two minutes two minutes to go. manoeuvre. Let's get it across the line for a P13, which I think, under the circumstances, is fairly fortunate. 13th place. That's the end of the race. We'll get him next time. Uh, hopefully so, Jeff. Thank you very much. Right, let's go and take a look at the incidents. So lap one, the rather spectacular start with a car almost landing on top of us. We were extremely lucky there. Just take a look at that from a different angle. See if Chopper comes any good. Yeah, that car's definitely having a bad day. So for a decent chunk of this lap, we were right up Etienne. We had a few opportunities to try and uh, get him, but let's have a look here. Oh, see, this is why I don't like shouting over the radio. That could have been my fault. Let's just have a look at that in slow-mo. So we are hitting the apex. This car on the left's already got quite a lot of damage. And we just seem to take a little bounce there and drift back over to the left as he's turning in. So I take it all back. My fault there. And unfortunately we wrote off another car in the process. And they killed me again. Just for good measure. So after that incident, 
with Etienne. Let's just have a quick look at the damage we're running there because we did seem to be low on lap time, so definitely got trouble at the back right there. Yeah, it's all looking a bit crumpled. There's going to be aero issues there. Front end's all looking a bit bashed and buffed up. Looking a wee bit wonky. Yep, that is definitely scuffed. So, no wonder the lap times were down a tad. So this is us chasing Lewis on the second to last lap. Unfortunately, we give it a little bit too much there. Wheels off into the right hand side, touch the grass and spin. Just take a look at the damage that we have there. So we know that side was from earlier. Yeah, I think I've just smashed up my rear wing there. So there we go with the incidents. Unfortunately, early on, that was our fault, so apologies to that guy. And the last incident was just us pushing too hard. So never mind. Let's take our battered and smashed up car and check out the results. So on that GT3 challenge, we started in split number six of 16. So still a popular race series. Strength of field, 18.09. We lost 31 I rating, which is a shame, but had to happen at some point. Lost a chunk of safety rating there as well, but we're still pretty safe. And here we are down here. Started in P12, finished in P13. Our quickest lap was a 148.950. So we're not too far off pace-wise, but then again, after looking around the car, 360, we were carrying a little bit of damage, which would have affected aero. Incidents, six. Felt like we had more. Radio. So, it had to happen at some point. This is our third race of the Season 2, 2021, and it's the first one with a negative result. But not all is lost. We still gained valuable experience in the Audi R8. That car's starting to feel nice and stable now. But uh, So we'll just take that one on the chin and move on from Watkins Glen this week and start looking at Sebring, which is the VRS and GT3 Challenge track for next week. So let's just move on. So thanks very much. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed getting smashed into and crashing on the last second to last lap. So uh, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And thank you very much. Hopefully see you on the next one. Bye-bye.